Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to discover how plants are cloned by cuttings and by tissue culture and this is for triple biology students only. In a previous video we looked at asexual reproduction. We saw that asexual reproduction produces genetically identical organisms and scientists call these clones. I'm showing you that here with this plant. By carrying out asexual reproduction this plant has produced a clone of itself. Now humans have been cloning plants for many years, so in this video we're going to look at the two ways that this is done. Cloning plants has got one big advantage. Because the clone is genetically identical to the original plant, we know exactly what the clone's characteristics will be. For example, the colour of flowers. If we used seeds which are produced by sexual reproduction, then all of the offspring would be different. Now a really simple way to clone a plant is to take cuttings and gardeners have been using this method for a very long time. In this case, a small piece of the plant is removed and the end is dipped in rooting powder. Rooting powder contains plant hormones and this encourages the plant to develop roots. By taking cuttings, we produce a genetically identical clone of the starter plant. Now taking cuttings works really well if we just want a few clones from a plant. However, what if we need hundreds of clones? To do this, we use tissue culture. In tissue culture, we take a plant that we want to clone and we divide the plant into hundreds of tiny pieces. Each of these pieces contains a small number of cells. So this shows a scientist splitting a plant into lots of small pieces. These small groups of cells are then incubated with plant hormones. The plant hormones stimulate the plants to grow and develop into fully grown clones. Now the conditions that we use for tissue culture must be sterile and that's because we don't want to introduce any microorganisms such as bacteria or fungi. Tissue culture is extremely useful in commercial plant nurseries. It allows growers to produce thousands of genetically identical plants quickly and cheaply. And again, because all the plants are clones, gardeners can be certain that they'll get the characteristics they want, for example flower colour. Tissue culture is also used to preserve rare species of plants. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on plant cloning in my vision workbook and you can get that by clicking on the link above.